I'm just trying to start a conversation. You may write me down in a hit story with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me down in the very dirt and still like the dust I rise. Does Growing up in the ghettos of McKeesport, Pennsylvania, I walk around these neighborhoods imagining what it might be like to live here. My choices, like yours, had everything to do with the information I had at the time, right? Hustlers and players with floor shine shoes twinkling on their feet, fine booty women hanging on their arms, and money seeming to fall out of their pockets. <laughs> the 60s was the decade that the black man was officially taken off the list of commodities and placed on the list of endangered species. I'm talking brothers dropping like autumn leaves. Medgar Evers. <laughs> Malcolm X. <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You can't give me one good reason why I should not send you to juvenile detention center. Well, it's because your mother loves your son. I reach down and pick up her hand in mine. She opens her eyes, sees me, says yee yee, and closes her eyes. A vision cracks open like a raw egg in my fear-plagued mind, spilling images of me tied to a chair in the middle of the living room, my mother wailing on me with an extension cord until she gets tired desperately trying to save me. And she's convinced me to take a chance on you. Due to the racially diverse nature of our local high school's population, we of the PTA have determined to hold a weekend seminar to discuss how to deal with any possible racial tensions in the community. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Angry black thugs with guns. I think the FBI should just wipe them all out. Causing such a fuss in the media? A lot of them don't say anything. And I guess that's what I noticed. The silence. They weren't actively agreeing with what was being said, but they weren't actively disagreeing either. If you treat a person like a dog, why are you so surprised when he bites you? What do you expect? Smart mouth, little nigger. There's the guilt-driven pudding. They just try way too hard to make you feel at home. They are liberals. They care about us downtrodden minorities. Where are you from? Oh, yes, yes. Tell us all about the ghetto. Be sure you check his belt. They sometimes hide knives in there. That's a group, a herd, a flock, a gaggle of clearly non-racist white people. And you felt the need to tell one of them the story. Seek and ye shall find, and if you don't find it, put it there, huh? That makes me no better than that profiling Princess Cop at West 4th Street. Picture this. Each of us an antibody fighting that cancer in the body of our society, and that just by having or being willing to have serious conversations about these things, we would be acting like white blood cells, the superheroes of the body, tracking down and destroying our own little bits of encountered racism until racism didn't exist anymore. I'll rise, I'll rise.